Now let's look at our identity. I mean, shifting from theater and whether we can make a good, decent living or not to check our identity. Do Ghanaians have an identity? Yes, some people believe that we do. But when it comes to music, that is where the conversation is. So highlight musician Dada Hafko on Daybreak Hits with Andy Dusty on Hits 103.9, which is the morning show, is reiterating that if we cannot champion a cause, one single cause that will benefit us as a country when it comes to music, then we are really lost. He believes that high life is in our DNA, so high life should be that cause. Look, everybody in this country who creates has a bit of high life in there. Whether the person is a rapper, whether the person is <clears throat> a dancehall artist or what, because that is in our DNA. And the, every mm. Ghanaian, your DNA, because look, when you even go to Abuja, yeah, those kids who have lived there and have, having... Uh, come to Ghana before and all of that. When you go and they are listening to Ghanaian highlight songs, they sing along. You know why? Because they grew up with it. Mm. You know, that is what they, they, they grew up with. So everybody in Ghana has the high life DNA in them. It is, a, it, is an, it is important for us to champion a cause, a single cause that will benefit us as a country and also in the bigger picture, benefit us, you know, going forward. Because when you go somewhere and you are asked, what is the identity of Ghanaian music? It's a big question for anybody. You can't say it. You can't say it. You can't say it. You are, you are not going to explain yourself. Oh, some do high life. Others do dancehall. Some do hip hop. Others, no, you don't need that. An identity of your music must be one. Well, um, with that, why must you go on that tangent of explaining that oh some do this some do because that because you are not what sure is that what is that one it? thing we do uh -huh. because, because when you go to Jamaica we all know they do reggae but in Jamaica <laughs> not all musicians in Jamaica do, do reggae. reggae now you find Jamaicans rapping you find Jamaicans doing afro pop some doing afro beat exactly right exactly so so you have even said it better when you go to every country they do stuff People do a lot of stuff. When you go to South Africa, you think they do not do... South Africa, they, they have one of the biggest hip-hop community in Africa. But Kwaito leads. Because that... You, you know, have you realized that even when you are talking to a South African, they often chip in their local languages, even when they are speaking English? I don't know if you've noticed that. Even when you watch their movies and, and things like that. Because the identity must be there. Identity, you know, without that, no, why you know? The people in the world, you know, we are in groups. The group represents a country moving. So every group, you need to be able to identify yourself with something to differentiate you and the others. So is this just supporting what Shatawali gave as a state of the industry address? Well, he is saying that we should just champion one course as a music, uh, for music as a country. You could do your high life, you could do your rap, you could do your dancehall, but let's make high life the journal here in Ghana. Well, let's move away from high life and listen to what rapper Amarado is saying. Well, Amarado, uh, with the current, I mean, Kula Balloon about the Ejira, what is going on there, has said that it is better to have a peaceful demonstration than to have a coup. Okay, so with specifically with the dry incident, I believe a peaceful de demonstration is better than a coup. So if the people are demonstrating and voicing out, we should allow them. We shouldn't kill them, we shouldn't attack them, because at the end of the day, they lead to save us. So what's the point of we not being able to voice out and speak out? Uh, so I'm not, I'm not really happy with what's going on, but I think our leaders can do better. You know, it's about time we have to stand for ourselves, and maybe we, we have to just come out the NDC and MVP, then maybe pick some different kind of people to lead the country. Because when, when a party comes in power, what they do is not what they say. Now you can just vote against them and bring another set of political party, and they are going to repeat it. You see, we've been traveling. We see how industrious some other countries are, but Ghana is still lacking uh, the petty petty stuff. That's good health care, roads, and quality uh, water and stuff. So I think the people can do it. I'm not really happy what's going on in, in the country. And that will be all for Showbiz on the AM Show. The name is Ibrahim Ben Bako. Ben Akapo will join you.